guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. Today is going to be my what I wore in the month of February. Now, usually for these, I just started doing these back in September, so I guess like usually is kind of subjective here, but I've been picking a theme for each month and basing my polish choices around that. So whether it be an entire color family, I've done blue, I did neutrals and I did red, or maybe more of a mood. So for October, I did spooky polishes. For December, I did, you know, festive polishes that relate to the holidays in that month, you know, things like that. But this month for February, I was just like, eh, I don't feel like picking a theme. I Nothing sounds like that fun to me to just specifically do. I thought about doing like flaky February, but I hate, I hate alliteration. And I, I was just like, I'm not doing that. Instead, I opened up my drawers and I just grabbed the first thing in each drawer or the first couple of things in each drawer that really stuck out to me that really like my eye was immediately drawn to it. And it ended up being a lot of really bright and vibrant and like, in your face kind of colors, at least in my opinion. Some of these aren't in your face, but they are very vibrant, very saturated with color. And I think I was just in like a poppy kind of a mood. And I only wore nine polishes this month and like more than half of them are blue. So even though I put a lot of fun colors on my nail polish rack, somehow I still really favored the blues, but I do have some really fun colors here to show you guys. And I'm really excited because I just, I'm looking at them and I'm like, I love all these. I love all these so much. I only painted my toes twice this month, which I think is probably why I have like significantly less. Is it less? I actually don't know what I average for the month anymore. Yeah, we, I'm not gonna show you pictures of my feet. As I always say, feet aren't free. You gotta pay for that. You can Venmo me, I guess. But I do have a couple that I wore on my toes and I think I have hand swatches of those. And if I do, I'll throw them up. If not, I'll at least give you like a close up of the bottle. So on the 1st of February, I started out on my toes with Poetry Cowgirls Deuce Coupe. And these, uh, it like I just love bright yellows. I love a fun yellow. And especially on the toes, like I feel like it's just like very statement-y. There's something about the color yellow that just, it does make me very happy. And it's so funny because I remember, I just never liked yellow. I hated yellow so much. And then, I bought this planner back in like 2015 or 2016 and you can buy like a different cover for it and they didn't have very many in the store and the only one that I kind of vaguely liked was it was yellow on the outside and like this tealish on the inside and I was like oh I'll like the inside it'll be fine and then I just that planner having that planner that was bright yellow every day just made me so happy and it like psyoped me into loving the color yellow so now I just love yellow, it makes me happy. This is part of a line that they did, which I think it launched at PBE last year, but they had a bunch of different colors and they were supposed to look like kind of classic car colors, I think. So they had this yellow, a red, a black, a white, and I think a blue, and the yellow one really stuck out to me. So it's not, like it's not a cream necessarily, I don't think. I'm pretty sure there's like a shimmer. So it kind of looks like that really glossy, slightly shimmery car, beautiful. And then on my nails, I wore BKL's As Above, So Below. This is one of those that it just looks like it's glowing in the bottle. It has that kind of like crushed, hollow, flaky running through it. And this is one of those where there's a little bit of a learning curve to it. I knew, I knew this going in, people said uh, this formula or this pigment or whatever from BKL, when you top coat it, if you do not use like a certain type of top coat, the pigment will bleed into the top coat and it will change the appearance of the color a little bit. And for some reason I was like, through sheer willpower, that's not gonna happen to me. I'll be fine, it happened, it did. And honestly, I liked it just as much. Like it, it kind of leaned a little bit more purple when the top coat bled the color. Um, so I didn't really care one way or the other, but just be aware that I think you gotta use maybe like a smudge free or something. I am not sure. I just, that just feels really involved and I don't wanna have to figure it out. So I like it top coated. That's all I care about. But then after I had picked my colors and I put on my toes and my fingernail polish there, I realized I had basically picked U of M colors and I was kind of annoyed about it because I hate sports. 
On the fifth, I decided to change my nails. And so I ended up going with Bean Toes from Starly. And this is actually NYX Polish gave me a gift card for Christmas. And this is one of the polishes I use, or this is one of the polishes I used it for. And so this is basically Nick bought this for me. So he can say he hates me all he wants, but he bought me Starly nail polish. So you can't really hate somebody and buy them Starly nail polish, right? And this is like, I, I know you guys are gonna be like, Hillary, that's white. You don't wear white. It's gray. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's a really, 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 really light gray with pink shimmer running through it. And it's so pretty. And yeah, maybe it looks a little bit white, but whatever. It did in fact, end up looking like teeth on my nails um, because I have swapped to the square nails back to my my favorite nail shape and I just it, it looks like teeth when you paint them white so it was fine I was okay uh, and then the next day I I stubbed my toe really 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 hard and it chipped off a ton of the polish and also a lot of my toe so that wasn't fun um not like the physical toe but like the nail that yeah i didn't lose toe to stubbing my toe but so i took the polish off fixed my toenails and then i repainted with ilnp's spellbound this is probably the darkest color i used this month but it's like a tealy kind of radiance and then there's like some kind of like purpley blue shift to it and it's really really pretty i love I just love the Island P bottle. I like the weird little lip at the bottom. This is the old bottle. It doesn't have the heart on it. So I feel like I just need to get over the heart and just buy, <laughs> buy some more. I need to stop being petty, Hillary. It's 2023. Let's leave that behind us. Um, yeah, I, I really like this color though. I've worn it on my nails. I'm pretty sure I have a swatch photo of it. So I will pop that up on my hands, not my toes. So but just like pretend that you know what my feet look like and then you can just like transpose that onto my toes. My feet are definitely not a men's size 11, so don't worry about that. On the 11th, I pulled out Phoenix's boy toy. And once I put this on, I definitely regretted not picking up the like sister or cousin or companion polish or whatever you call it from, I think they did it in like the next polish pickup i think in january i didn't pick up anything from january's polish pickup but they did like a pinky based one for it and i just i wish that i had that one too because this is stunning i usually am not like dying for hex glitters i think like it's just so common at this point that to me it's not super exciting but these pastel hex glitters it's got pastel uh, i was gonna say pastel white it's got matte white hex glitters and then pastel, I think purple ones and pastel blue ones. Like they're very light. There's a green shimmer running through it. And the base is this really light kind of sheer purple, but you can build it up fairly decently. And I feel like while you can still see the nail line, they're definitely, it's just so much is going on in this that it's very distracting. And while I wanted to wear this for like forever, I, you know, I got to wear other stuff too. So I really like this though. And I really want to get the pink version of it. It's really cool. And also I just am dying to see the Barbie movie. I have no idea what it's about. I don't care. I just know like Will Ferrell's in it. Love that guy. And it's going to be weird. I can already tell. So I'm excited. On Valentine's Day, I decided to paint my nails really bright yellow. Uh, this is Girly Bits Seize Every Opportunity. It's from the Honky Tonk Blues Collection. And it is a weird looking polish. Like I was feeling very yellow that day. I was wearing yellow eye makeup. I was wearing a yellow hoodie and I was like, all right, I gotta go in with the yellow polish. And it almost looks a little bit diseased because it's this very sheer yellow base and it's like neon yellow. It is vibrant. And then it has these pink mini hex glitters running through it that almost look like chicken box on your nails. And I usually don't feel super self-conscious about what I wear to work nail polish wise because I, nobody really cares. But then I was wearing this and they were like, Hillary, we need you to interview new candidates for the job. And I was like, but I don't, that's not my job. <laughs> Um, so I interviewed them and I was wearing this and I'm just like, yeah, so we're just a really professional outfit and I'm just like these creepy yellow nails and I'm sure they were just like, don't want to work here with that girl. So I don't know. We'll see. 
On the 16th, I ended up putting on Mulder It's Me from Swamp Gloss. I bought, they had like three mystery X-Files polishes, I think back in November or December, I can't remember. S literally both were wrong. It literally says September on the bottom of the bottle. So they, they were in September and I like this. It's like this light, this is periwinkle. Is this what you call periwinkle with these matte neon pink glitters and then these teal kind of micro flake metallic flakes. And I literally, I, I'm a sucker for anything X-Files related. I just, I will buy it. And so like the three, I was like, they're mysteries. I'd never bought a mystery before. Like whatever, I'm gonna buy them. And in the bottle, I think this one's definitely my favorite, but I do have all three of them swatched at this point. So I really like Swap Gloss. So I'm glad I got these. Unfortunately, I think my nails were like super covered in oil because I was just, I think I was like swatching a bunch before I put that on. If I remember correctly, I'd swatched a bunch and then put that on, but I had been oiling a bunch in between and I forgot to like clean that up. And so that one ended up chipping really fast because my nails, I didn't, I just didn't paint them very well. So on the 18th, I ended up putting on Bluebird Lacquer's The Walking Dead. This one is also from September of last year. This is from Polish Pickup. And this is one of those multi-chromes that just kind of reminds me of like why I love multi-chromes. Cause I always think like, oh, I don't really care too much about multi-chromes. You know, I, they're not like sitting in a special place in my heart. And then I put one on and I'm like, okay. Like I'm driving and I'm like looking at my nails and about to get on an accident on the highway because I'm just looking at my nails. Dangerous. But like in the bottle, like look at that. That's beautiful. But in the direct sunlight, it's crazy. It's just, it looks the blue shimmer running through this. You can't really see it reflecting right now, but the blue against this greeny undertone, get out of here. And then it has these like super fine black, like micro shards or micro flakes running through it as well. And I swear if you put a black micro flake or a black shard or a black flake in any color, in any polish, suddenly I'm like, that's my favorite. I want that one. I just love that add in. I know not everybody does, but I just really enjoy it. And then the final polish that I wore in February was on the 22nd and I wore that one for probably too long um because to me six days is too long to wear a polish I guess and that is DRK's April this is it says it's a PBE exclusive for 2022 I I didn't even realize that it was an exclusive. I just remember I was like walking around and I saw this like a couple tables away um, on the DRK table and I was like, that is mine. And I like marched over there and I don't even usually like iridescent flakies. This is a neon pink kind of jellyish formula filled with these, actually they're maybe they're metallic. It's hard to tell. I'm sure it's really easy to tell. I'm just dumb. Um, but yeah, it was, it's a little bit on the sheer side for sure. And so if you have visible, like if you have like a lot of overhang, you definitely, if you don't like a visible nail line, you're gonna probably want to put like a pink base under it or something. I used a, like the Hollow Taco, like their ridge filler base, because that one has some like opacity to it underneath it. And it didn't like fully cover it up, but I felt like it, it helped a little bit. I will say. This is very annoying to remove because those flakies are so latch onto your nail. And so I took it off yesterday and I was like, come on. I'm like, still, there's still some flakies like remaining that I cannot get off. And I'm frankly tired of trying. And so I've given up. But yeah, that is everything that I wore in the month of February. I would say it's pretty bright, pretty vibrant, pretty fun. That's the mood that I was trying to channel in February. But now it is March and we are obviously in the green month. That's what March is for is greens. So, you know, I'm thriving over here. And once I finish this video, I'm going to go make dinner and then paint my nails. My favorite green, which I'm sure you guys already can guess what green is Hillary going to paint her nails with first. If you guys want to join in, there's a whole hashtag that Stacy or Keizu Beer Girl over on Instagram, she set this all up. She made all the graphics and then she was like, hey, do you wanna join me for my month of greens? And I was like, sure. And she put my name on it and she did all the work, but 
I get half the credit apparently. <laughs> no, she did she did everything. She made all the nice little graphics and and has been reminding everybody leading up to. So I'm excited to be a part of it and see all your guys' green manicures. Definitely tag us, definitely use the hashtag, which again I will throw up on the screen. And yeah, let me know what what were the highlights of your February? Did you wear anything really cool or really interesting or anything like that? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.